this new Express tutorial, we're going to add a new login to SQL Server Azure. The steps to follow are to add a new firewall setting in the Azure portal, create a new login in the master database, then create a new user in the master database. That is followed by creating a new user in the destination database and assigning a role to the new user. And finally, we're going to check the login. So the first step to create a new login for SQL Server Azure is to log into your Azure portal. And you need to click on the server that is hosting SQL Server. Once you're inside the hosting server, you are going to look at the firewall settings. You will be able to enter an IP address that will belong to the user who is trying to access the database. You can hit enter and then hit save and that will save the IP address for the user to log in remotely. After adding the IP address to the SQL Server hosting server, we can check if the login is being blocked. A login failed is a good sign that the only thing missing is to add the new user. There are only two scripts to execute when adding a new user to SQL Server Azure. The first script is executed in the master database. And the second script is executed in the destination database. The master database script creates a new login and a new user. The destination database script creates the new user inside the destination database and assigns the new role. Now that both scripts have been executed, we can check if the new login works. This concludes our express tutorial for creating a new login in SQL Server Azure.